Well, we're back on severe weather here. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. What we're getting is a storm. This storm right here, you can see the large purple core in it. They're reporting everything up to softball size hail coming out of that storm. <clears throat> the last guy reported basically that it was bigger than golf balls and slightly smaller than baseballs. So somewhere in between. Anyway, this particular storm is throwing out some big hail, so we'll listen in. We're on the Sabine Valley Amateur Radio Association uh, weather net right now at 146.780 frequency. And uh, listening to Net Control, who is at the University of uh, Texas A&M in Commerce, Texas is where the EOC is operating from, is net control. So you'll hear uh, net control cut in from time to time, along with uh, some storm spotters that are out, out and about in Hunt County, Texas. So uh, keep your eye on that storm that I pointed out a second ago. This one right here. You can see my location right here. This is where I'm located. And here's that storm. So I'm not impacted by it. This one's going to come a little bit close to me right here, but I don't think it's going to reach me either. Doesn't look that severe on, we on weather radar. But we've got more of them popping up out here in this area and heading north, northeast. So, uh, could get uh, a lot of severe weather here in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. Anyway, stick around and listen for a while and I'll just make comments from time to time. <clears throat> Again, this is a Telescope Man recording this and I'll have it posted up to YouTube uh, once this weather event is uh, finished. All right, guys, we gave an update on everything you were just hearing. That storm is now uh, to the east of the last moving towards the Wolf City area. Next time, and we'll see within the next three minutes or so. Uh, our whole Dunham and Wolf City are the areas in, in track for this storm right now. Those towns are a little bit north of uh, Greenville, Texas. And from the radar, it looks like we're setting up a couple of different uh, lines of storms. Uh, there's one that's off to our east 
a line of storms, you can see. And now it seems to be another one group of supercells developing uh, a little bit to our west. And of course, all of this is moving northeast. This is W5 AMC under severe thunderstorm warning for Hunt County. Uh, 231 of severe thunderstorm confirmed large hill is located near some land 12 miles north of Greenville, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Uh, as we've already seen, things tall or larger size hill. Um, people and animals outdoors are impact will be the people, the animals that are outdoors, expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Areas impacted by this storm should include Greenville, Commerce, Farmersville, Wolf City, Celeste, Campbell, and Neilanville. Uh, precautionary measures is uh, for your protection, stay inside the third structure and keep away from the windows. This is Doge 5 AMC. This is Doge 5 AMC, net control, any other states you'd like to check in the Hunt County area net on behalf of the Hunt uh, Sabine Valley Amateur Radio Club. Anyway, it's uh, May the 11th right now. We're kind of in the middle of uh, Texas uh, thunderstorm season. We've got another month or so of uh, these kind of uh, severe storms popping up. We'll get a few of them during the summer, but uh, nothing like what we get in the springtime uh, here in Texas. As I've said before, the Weather Bureau can jump in if they want to uh, and reach uh, Commerce, Texas via an echo link uh, that's been set up on the repeater and then come in through the internet. And basically be heard in Hunt County. And while I'm doing this, I can't really tell how long this weather net will last. So 75 PHU, 75 PHU, this is W5 AMC net control. And I really, uh, don't, 
I really don't. Uh, just checking in with you guys, mobile, and uh, checking if you got an update location if you're still playing. Both same location. Three, two, 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 two. So, uh, if you're watching this, you can just skip ahead in the video. And uh, or if you've got one of those players that shows the audio signal at the same time as you're watching the video, you can just go where you see an audio signal show up. <clears throat> the rest of the time, it'll be uh, just quiet looking at the screen. So. I encourage you just to skip around in the video and see what you can hear as uh, it's a weather net and uh, really we don't know what's going to happen ahead of time until uh, the storm spotters uh, start reporting some kind of significant event. And they've already reported baseball size hail out of that storm that you, that you see on the screen there. Uh, with the uh, kind of uh, bluish purple uh, severe weather box projected on it. Uh, that's the storm we're watching at the current time. And again, this is my location right here where that dot on the map is. This is where I'm located.
last section of the check in. Did you come with your call signs again for us, please? Uh, your traffic was real low audio uh, with a little bit of white noise. We couldn't understand it. Can you try to talk a little bit louder or use the high power radio? <laughs>
And as you can see, I've got storms coming up from the south, uh, west, on both sides of me. Neither one looks like it's going to impact me. But there's uh, one forming right here, right here. So uh, we need to keep our eye on it and a whole bunch more behind it. Looks like we're going to have this same uh, scenario develop in this area. So in a, if it keeps uh, building like it's doing in the next hour or so, it could look like this over here as these storms build. And I want to drag uh, something onto the screen. Uh, anyone that's got uh, what's called a, <clears throat> what's called an uh, APRS tracking system uh, in their car or at their home QTH. Um, they're being reported on another uh, map on the internet. I'm going to move that map over so you can see it. So you can see my location again right here. It's not actually the exact location, but pretty close. And you can see some of the storm spotters around in the area right now, tracking these storms. Of course, uh, if you don't have a tracker going on in your car, and you can do that if you have an internet connection <clears throat> in your car, you can transmit your location to this map, and you'll actually show up on the internet uh, where your location is. This kind of aids uh, net control to be able to pinpoint your location. Uh, during a storm event, <clears throat> they can actually see you on a map. So, uh, anyway, this is called APRS. You can Google that and find out all about it. I'll move it back out of the way onto the other monitor, and you can keep watching the radar. That storm doesn't seem to be diminishing any uh, from the looks of it on radar. Actually seems to be building uh, strength right now. Anyway, rather than making the video exceptionally long in length, uh, <clears throat> let me just uh, close some of these windows here <clears throat> for a second. Kind of uh, put you back on me. And the weather uh, net is continuing, but uh, I don't want this video to be hours long. It'd be difficult to post, so... I'm going to call it quits right here, but we're still on the net as I'm speaking. And uh, again, another weather net happening in Hunt County, Texas. So as I usually do, I wish you all clear skies in 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. I'll keep monitoring the net and reporting any observations from my location here uh, a little south of Quinlan, Texas. And my call sign if you want to look me up is W1
x w x w one x w x. You can look me up on uh, qrz.com, qrz.com, just by typing in my call sign W1XWX in the little search box. Anyway, everybody be good. Uh, see you all later.